ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് സോ ലാസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ റേഷ്യോസിന്റെ തിയറി ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നു നമുക്ക് അതിന്റെ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് നോക്കാം റേഷ്യോ എന്താണ് ഡെഫിനിഷൻ എന്ന് പറയാം റേഷ്യോ ഇസ് ദ കമ്പാരിസൺ ഓഫ് ടു ഓർ മോർ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് സെയിം കൈൻഡ് ഇൻ സെയിം യൂണിറ്റ് ബൈ ഡിവിഷൻ ഇപ്പൊ എൻ ബി ആർ ടു ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് ദെൻ എ ബൈ ബി ദ ഫ്രാക്ഷൻ എ ബൈ ബി ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ദ റേഷ്യോ ആൻഡ് ഈസ് ഡിനോട്ടഡ് ബൈ എ ഈസ് ടു ബി usually a and b are called the terms of the ratio a is called the first term or antecedent and b is called the second term or consequent okay then first question oka two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4 two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4 if 6 is added to each of them the ratio will then the new ratio will be 4 is to 5 then the numbers are so Now, okay, two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4. That means, we have the ratio to first property. Ratio to the first property is simplest. Or lowest to form on in the 3 is to 4. Okay. So, that means, we have the ratio to first property. Both the terms of the ratio can be multiplied or divided by same non-zero number. So, we have x and the non-zero number. We have the multiply. That means, Actual numbers are 3x and 4x. Ratio means 3x divided by 4x are our original ratio. So, in the item simplest form, xx cancel, we have to get 3 is to 4. What do we have to do? 6 is added. So, antecedent and consequent of 6 added, what do we have to do? Ratio is added to 4 is to 5. We have to do 4 by 5. We have to cross multiply the answer. We have to do the answer. We have to do the answer. 5 into 3x plus 6 is equal to 4 into 4x plus 6. 15x plus 30 is equal to 16x plus 24. So, 15x are just like a minus out. So, 16x minus 15x is equal to 30 minus 24. That implies x is equal to 6. Therefore, the fraction uh, numbers are so first number and then 3x so that implies 3 into 6 equal to 18 then second one 4x 4 into 6 equal to 24 two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4 that means atom simplest to form one in the 3 is to 4 so under term in the non-zero number atla x on the multiply here Therefore, the actual numbers are 3x and 4x. Ratio will be 3x divided by 4x. So, that is the sum of 6 added to each terms of the ratio. So, 3x is equal to plus 6, 4x is equal to plus 6. So, our ratio is equal to 4 by 5. So, if we take the cross multiply, the answer will be. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Is it clear? So, what do you want to learn English? Chat will be there. Is there any doubt? Is there any doubt? Respond here. Clear eye. Clear eye. Clear eye. Respond here. Clear eye. Next question. Yes, sir. Okay. So, there will be another question. One more try. Two numbers are in the ratio. 5 is to 6. If 5 is subtracted from each of the numbers, each numbers, the ratio becomes 4 by 5. Find the numbers. Now try to the answer by two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 6. That means atom simplest to form out of 5 is to 6. Now can become 5x and 6x with the numbers. Therefore, 5x divided by 6x are number ratio. Each term number they do five is subtracted minus five, then the ratio becomes four by five. Cross multiplier and select five into five x minus five equal to four into six x minus five. Twenty five x minus twenty five equal to twenty four x minus twenty. 24x LH is equal to minus 24x, 25x minus 24x is equal to minus 20, minus 25, 
RH like one plus plus twenty five. X is equal to five. Therefore, numbers are five x. Five into five equal to twenty five. Then second one, second number six x. Six into five equal to thirty. Get your answer. Yes, sir. Yes. Third question. Daily <coughs> earnings of two persons are in the ratio four is to five, and their daily expenses are in the ratio seven is to nine. If each saves rupees fifty per day, their daily incomes in rupees are daily earnings of two persons are in the ratio four is to five, and their daily expenses are in the ratio seven is to nine. If each saves rupees one fifty per day, their daily income in rupees earnings. Minus expenses. Now, can they do savings? Like earnings minus expenses is equal to sales. Now, they will now come. Let's say in form of the savings. Now, let's just like under another one. Can do it. Earnings. Minus savings. Open the two expenses. So daily earnings of two persons are in the ratio. Okay, ratio of earnings. Daily earnings of two persons are in the ratio equal to four is to five. Ratio of earnings is four is to five. So that means now the actual earnings, the earnings in the ratio, do I? Actual earnings, all the first all that four x and all the other five x number. Both the terms multiplied by same non zero number x. Okay. Then four x and five x. The daily expenses are in the ratio seven is and each saves rupees. Okay. So now we will do daily earnings in the ratio of ten to ten. Four x divided by five x. So four x will then the fifty or a child. Now we can do that. Earnings minus savings. And do we have the savings? How many are per day? Fifty Anna, then the way then savings fifty Anna, so four X minus fifty. Now can they do? Padita alde expense. Then five X minus fifty at the end of the term, and now the alde expense. Now can Dana, Padita alde expense divided by and now the alde expense on another expense in the ratio Anna. Daily expenses are in the ratio seven is nine. That means seven by nine. Cross multiply your answer like that. Daily expenses are in the ratio seven is to nine. Cross multiply your answer like one. So answer on the computer the paraya. So what I use in the earnings minus expense now to savings on the paraya. Earnings minus savings equal to expenses. So try to earnings. Try the earnings. So x is hundred. I am going to tell you that earnings are there. Four x and five x are there. Four hundred and five hundred. So cross multiply number nine into four x minus fifty is equal to seven into five x minus fifty. Nine into four x minus fifty is equal to seven into four x minus five x minus fifty. Thirty six x minus four fifty is equal to twenty. Thirty-five x minus three fifty. So thirty-six x minus thirty-five x. So four hundred and five hundred. Thirty-six x minus thirty-five x is equal to minus three fifty plus four fifty. X is equal to hundred. X is hundred. Then we have a question. Let us have a question. In that, we have to check the daily income. So, at that time, we have to find four x. So, income will be 
4 into 100 equal to 400. And now the 5x. 5 into 100 will be 500. So 400 and 500. 400 and 500. Clearly. Question. Then next question. The angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 7 is to 11. 2 is to 7 is to 11. Then the angles are. The angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 7 is to 11. 2 is to 7 is to 11. So triangle in the moon angles in the sum of triangle. Sum of angles of a triangle. 180. So I'm sum of angles of a triangle 180. Like, so 180 and I'm angles so they are in the ratio 2 is to 7 is to 11 like, so now the ratio is every term in a multiply normally both the terms that means we have a continuous ratio in the last day we have a ratio of one term in a multiply so that means this is a non-zero number x so that means actual so let x so multiply in the area so actual Triangle the actual angles now in terms of x and over m 2x, 7x, and 11x. So that means this is the actual angle. This is the moon good idea. 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 This is the idea. This is the moon good idea. This is the moon so that means 2x plus 7x plus 11x is equal to 180. So that means 2x plus 7x, 9x plus 11. 20x is equal to 180. That means x is equal to 180 divided by 20. So 9 okay. So x is 9 angle. Number 2x, 7x, 11x. Okay. So angles are in the ratio 2x, 7x, and 11x. So 2x is 2 into 9. 18 degrees, 7 into 9, 63 degrees, then 11 into 9, 99. Okay. So, we will get 180. So, angles are, actual angles are 18, 63 and 99. 18, 63 and 99. 18, 63 and 99. Clear like question? Yes, sir. It is a little bit. Next question. Not here, question not here. Sum of the ages of three persons is 150. Sum of the ages of three persons is 150. Ten years ago, their ages were in the ratio seven is to eight is to nine. Ten years ago, their ages were in the ratio seven is to eight is to nine. Their present ages are. Their present ages are. Sum of ages of. Three persons equal to one fifty. Uni noka ten years ago. That means Patuasha Mumber, our day age in the ratio of Triana Patuasha Mumber, age in the ratio seven is to eight is to nine. That means Patuasha Mumber, the actual age of Noka, Muna terminate on a non zero number, like let it be x, x on multiple Patuasha Mumber, our age of Triana, 
seven x, eight x, nine x. So right now, our ketra ekon daum age. Aditya age age patto asham mumbu seven x naangili pura ketra ekon. Seven x plus ten. Seven x plus ten. Aditya age. And now thala ketra ekon pura age. Eight x plus. Le moonu bhar kum patto aso chukona. 9x plus 10 and the sum of the ages equal to 150. Then x in the value and we over. Right ages. So I did 24x plus 10. Sorry, x plus 30 is equal to 150. 24x is equal to 150 minus 30 equal to 120. Therefore, 24x equal to 120. x is equal to 120 divided by 24 equal to 5. Therefore, so x is 5 t. Number age is no more than for all the age 7x ala 7x plus 10 nana because 7x no other patta sham mumbola. Now keep per the age in the sum mana 140. So 7 into 5 plus 10 equal to 45. Then 8x plus 10. 8 into 5 plus 10 equal to 50. Then 9x plus 10. 9 into 5 plus 10 equal to 55. So 45, 50 and 55 will be the answer. Yes, sir. Then next question. The ratio of present age of a father to that of his son is 7 is to 4. 10 years later, that means Patavasham Kari board. So right now, ratio of ages of father to his son is equal to 7 is to 4. That means now can that come? Right now father in age is 7x, son in age is 4x. After 10 years, so father in a 7x plus 10. Uh, son in a 4x plus 10. Okay. After 10 years, the ratio the ratio would be age in a ratio or another 11 is to 7. That means 11 by 7. Cross multiply yeah? 7 into 7x plus 10 equal to 11 into 4x plus 10. So simplify j the x in the value compute here. Yeah? 49x plus 70 equal to 44x plus 110. So 49x minus 44x is equal to 110 minus 70. So 5x equal to 40. 5x equal to 40, that means x is equal to 8. 7x, 4x. 7 into 8, 56, 4 into 8, 32. So H will be 56 and 32. Okay. Did you have a Yes. I shall tell you about it. Can you tell Next question. The ratio of two numbers is 7 is to 10 and their difference is 1 not 5. Find the numbers. On the try your answer over here. Two numbers are in the ratio 7 and sorry 7 is to 10 and their difference is 1 not 5. Find the numbers.
numbers. In the ratio, seven is to 10. Two numbers are in the ratio, seven is to 10. So that means numbers, actual numbers are number under term name, non zero number at la, normally I'm going to know like seven, seven X and 10 X. And their difference is 105. So, we will x in a positive value and difference on the first time minus second time. We will have to the theta than normally 7x minus 10x. So, we will have positive value. Difference positive value and x positive value and all part of the value 10x are in greater quantity. We will have to the first time minus second time. We will have to the difference. That means higher term minus lower term positive value. Difference of positive quantity in the idiom higher term minus lower term that means 10x minus 7x is equal to 105. 3x is equal to 105. Therefore, x is equal to 105 divided by 3, 35. Okay, so x is 35 on numbers in the room 7x, 7 into 35. Then 10x, 10 into 35. 7x, 7 into 35. 245 10 into 35 350 so difference is 350 minus 245 not 105 attention it answer larkum yes sir Then next question. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three, and the difference of their squares is three to D. Find the numbers. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. That means two x and three x are given original numbers, and the difference of their squares. So now we are going so uh, plus difference positive and higher term minus that means 3x the difference of their squares 3x square minus 2x square is equal to 320 3 to square 3 to 3 9 x in a square x square minus 4x square equal to 320 5x square equal to 320 x square equal to 320 divided by 5. Room 64. 320 divided by 5. 64. So x is equal to root of 64. x square 64 and x root of 64. Number of positive value 8. x is equal to 8. So x in a 8 over the numbers and 2x 2 into 8 16 then 3x 3 into 8 24 it answer lap yes sir then next question A ends rupee 80 in 7 hours and B ends rupees 90 in 12 hours. The ratio of their earnings is A ends rupees 80 in 7 hours and B ends rupees 90 in 12 hours. So, under where then earnings in the ratio are used? On the computer answer, why? So, we have to do this. 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 So, 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 we So, 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 80 divided by 7. B's earnings in 
one hour. You can do that. Ninety divided by twelve. So that implies eighty divided by seven. The whole divided by ninety divided by twelve. Division by fraction. Three chit multiply. Yeah. Eighty divided by seven into twelve divided by ninety. So ten was chamu thekum. It cancel. Three was chamu thekum. Four. Three. So eight into four. Thirty two divided by twenty one. Or thirty two is to twenty one will be the ratio of earnings of A and B. So what did you charge? Kerala ninety is eighty is to ninety. Eighty is to ninety. One is the answer. Because or else we get the reason that three hundred one is the answer. Other seven hours will get the reason. Then or else three hundred twelve hours. So two hours come one hour will get the reason. Other one hundred twenty. Then we will get the answer. So answer will be thirty two is to twenty one. The ratio between speeds of two trains is seven is to eight. If the second train runs four hundred kilometers in five hours, what is the speed of first train? Speed and all that. I am like that. Kilometer per hour. I am number. Speed and all that. So two trains. Ratio of speeds is equal to seven is to eight. That means first train the speed is seven x and second train the speed is eight x. Now, okay. Second train runs four hundred kilometers in five hours. Second train runs four hundred kilometers in five hours. So that means second train the hourly speed is four hundred divided by five equal to Eighty. So that means eight x equal to eighty. X is equal to three hundred ten. Or therefore seven x at three hundred seventy. So first at the speed of what? Seventy kilometer per hour. Seventy kilometer per hour. It is answer. रेशियो ऑफ स्पीड टू ट्रेन टू टू फाइव If the distance they travel are in the ratio five is to nine, find the ratio of time taken by them. The ratio of speeds of two trains is two is to five. If the distance they travel are in the ratio five is to nine, find the ratio of the time taken by them. So in other words, again, speed, distance, time. Okay, now we have a formula. So total distance covered by train divided by speed of train. Now we have to do time. Okay. So total distance divided by speed equal to time. Okay. Distance divided by speed equal to time. So now we have to do what? Ratio of speeds of two trains. Ratio of speeds of two trains is two is to five. That means, under train, I mean, train one the speed now get rated to two x. Train two in the speed now get rated to five x. Then, if the distance they travel, distance. So. Ratio of distance by two trains. So now we are going to do that. Five is to nine. That means we have already accepted that we are going to do variable. Just y is equal. So five by one distance travelled by first train and nine by one distance travelled by second train. Okay. So now we 
രണ്ട് ട്രെയിന്റെയും സ്പീഡിന്റെ റേഷ്യോ ആണ് വേണ്ടത് ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ സ്പീഡ് ഓഫ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിൻ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് വരും ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെ സോറി ടൈം ടേക്കൺ ബൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് ടൈം ആണ് ടൈം ആണല്ലോ നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കുന്ന ടൈമിന്റെ റേഷ്യോ ആണ് ടൈം ടേക്കൺ ബൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിൻ ടൈം ബൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിൻ എന്തായിരിക്കും നമുക്ക് സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് എത്രയാണ് ഫൈവ് വൈ ഫൈവ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ടു എക്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ സ്പീഡ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എത്രയാണ് ടു എക്സ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ സ്പീഡ് സോറി ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഫൈവ് വൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ സ്പീഡ് ടു എക്സ് അതേപോലെ ടൈം ബൈ സെക്കൻഡ് ട്രെയിൻ സെക്കൻഡ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് എത്രയാണ് നയൻ വൈ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ സ്പീഡ് എത്ര വരും ഫൈവ് എക്സ് നയൻ വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ഫൈവ് എക്സ് സോ നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടത് എന്താണ് റേഷ്യോ ആണ് വേണ്ടത് റേഷ്യോ ഓഫ് സ്പീഡ്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു നമുക്ക് എന്താ പറയാം ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ സ്പീഡിന്റെ റേഷ്യോ എത്രയാണ് റേഷ്യോ ഓഫ് ടൈം ആണ് സ്പീഡ് അല്ല റേഷ്യോ ഓഫ് ടൈം ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രെയിനിന്റെ ടൈം എത്രയാണ് നയൻ വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ടു എക്സ് ഈസ് ടു ഫൈവ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ടു എക്സ് ഈസ് ടു നയൻ വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ഫൈവ് എക്സ് സോ നമുക്ക് റേഷ്യോ മീൻസ് ഡിവിഷൻ അല്ലെ സോ ദിസ് ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് ഫൈവ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ടു എക്സ് ദ ഹോൾ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ നയൻ വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ഫൈവ് എക്സ് ഡിവിഷൻ ബൈ എ ഫ്രാക്ഷൻ തിരിച്ചിട്ട് മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുക ഫൈവ് വൈ divided by 2x 5y divided by 2x into 5x divided by 9y so in the way y y get cancel x x get cancel division i und y um y um get cancel x x get cancel therefore now then 5 into 5 25 divided by 9 into 2 18 therefore ratio will be 25 is to 18 25 is to 18 25 is to 18 നല്ലൊരു ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ആണ് നമുക്ക് ആ ഒരു ടൈമിന്റെ ടൈമിന്റെ ഫോമുല അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം ദെൻ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് ഈസ് ടു എയ്റ്റീൻ ദെൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദ റേഷ്യോ ഓഫ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി പൈസ റുപ്പി വൺ ആൻഡ് റുപ്പി ഫൈവ് കോയിൻസ് വിത്ത് മിസ്റ്റർ ഇസൽ ഈസ് ഫൈവ് ഈസ് ടു ടു ഈസ് ടു വൺ ഫൈവ് ഈസ് ടു ടു ഈസ് ടു വൺ വിത്ത് ദ എമൗണ്ട് വിത്ത് ഹിം ഈസ് റുപ്പീസ് തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ഫൈൻഡ് ദ ടോട്ടൽ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് റുപ്പി വൺ കോയിൻസ് വിത്ത് ഹിം ടോട്ടൽ വാല്യൂ എത്രയാണ് കയ്യിലുള്ളത് റുപ്പീസ് തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് സോ ഏതൊക്കെ ഫോമുല ആണ് അതുള്ളത് അമ്പത് പൈസ ആയിട്ടുണ്ട് റുപ്പി പൈസ ദെൻ റുപ്പി വൺ ആൻഡ് റുപ്പി ഫൈവ് കോയിൻസ് അമ്പത് പൈസ ഉണ്ട് ദെൻ റേഷ്യോ ഓഫ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് കോയിൻസ് സോ ഫിഫ്റ്റി പൈസ ഈസ് ടു വൺ റുപ്പി ഈസ് ടു ഫൈവ് റുപ്പി എത്രയാണ് ഫൈവ് ഈസ് ടു ടു ഈസ് ടു വൺ So that means we have to do this. We have to do this. 5x 50 Paisa coins. 2x 1 rupee coin. x 5 rupee coins. Then we have to do this equation. We have to do this equation. Equation. 
x into 50 by say plus 2 x into 1 plus x into 5 equal to 30. 30. Okay. So, what is the other thing? Where normally, uh, students have the mistake of 5x plus 2x plus x equal to 38. But, what is the number of coins? This is the number of coins in the number of coins in the ratio. Now, we have 5x 50 by the coin and the value is 5x into 5x into 1 plus 5x into 5 into 1 plus then integral 2x 1 rupee coin value 2x into 1 plus integral uh, x 5 rupee coins on the value of x into 5 equal to total value 38. Then x in the value one rupee so to the answer. Two point five x plus two x plus five x is equal to thirty eight. That implies seven plus two point five nine point five x is equal to thirty eight. That implies x is equal to thirty eight divided by nine point five. X is equal to thirty eight divided by nine point five. So x at right four and right the question is number of 1 rupee coins. 1 rupee coins are 2x. Okay. So 1 rupee coins, number of 1 rupee coins will be 2 coins equal to 2x equal to 2 into 4 equal to 8. So the term is the step with Anna. Value on another. So under coin on in terms of x, the value on multiply normally students were in that mistake on 5x plus 2x plus x equal to 38. Then go on. Wrong answer. So if we have number of coins on the angle direct equate to the total value on the other. So in the kailula coins in the indu other value multiply the other total at the end of total value not equate to the other step. In particular step. So very important step. Get your answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Data lab. Then next question. Try the answer right there. What a bag contains rupees 187 in the form of rupee 1, 50 paise, and 10 paise coins in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. Find the number of each type of coins. Find the number of each type of coins. Total value rupees one eighty seven. So, at the format, then all other one rupee fifty paise and ten paise. Our coins are in the ratio number of coins ratio three is to four is to five. So actual coins now can come x1 multiply 3x, then 4x, 5x. So now can the value under the American 187. So 3x 1 rupee coins means and then 3x into 1 plus 4x 50 by sequence means 4x into 50, 0.50 plus 5x into 0 0.10 is equal to 187. Then x and the answer like what So 3x plus 2x plus 0.5x equal to 187. 
5.5x is equal to 187. x is equal to 187 divided by 5.5 equal to 34. So x is 34 and now can then do it. 1 rupee coin. 1 rupee coin set the volume. 3 into 34 equal to 102. Then 50 paise coins equal to 4 into 34. 136. Then 10 paise coins. Threaten. 5x 5 into 34 equal to 170. So ratio will be 102. Alangal number of coins 102, 136 and 70. 102, 5, 1 rupee coin 102, 50 paise coin 136 and 10 paise coins 170. Clear, no? Yes, sir. So, Adira, Aisha, clear, no? Yes, sir. Get it, Ale? Murda? Yes, sir. Roshnay, Baba. Okay. Get it, level question, no? So 180 year question on the market the exam on the one test here question important question. So full normally uh, class le chaina questions plus theory. Uh, full letter ella ella chapman or in chinaka next month plus week the rank questions per miche. Now we discuss in a theory and we'll learn the print light on down next month later. So, I will copy it and copy it. Then, next one. There are 30, sorry, 23 coins in a box in the form of rupee 1, rupee 2, and rupees 5. If their value is 43 and, their ratio, and the ratio of rupee 1 and rupee 2 is 3 is to 2, then the number of coins of rupee 1 is. Exam question, very, very important question. So what's them? 23 coins on my own. Then under value, the value, the value, the rupee is 43. So, the one rupee coins, one rupee coin under, two rupee coin under, and five rupee coin under. No. So, if we have the question, ratio of one rupee and two rupee. Okay. So, Number of coins in the case le, ratio ratio and more than ratio on the clear and the that means uh, one rupee coins is to two, two rupee coins are in the ratio two three is to two. That means there are three x one rupee coins are there and two x two rupee coins are there. Number ratio property use. So etra five rupee coins on the total etra coins are 25, 23 coins are one rupee coin and two rupee coin would chair the third. 2, uh, 2, 3x plus 2x 5x coins under. So total 23 coins, 1 rupee and 2 rupee and 5x under. 23 minus 5x. 5 minus 5x. Okay. 23 minus 5x. 23 so, minus 5x. This is the important step. Then, this is normal. Okay. So, no. random to the math on ratio. 3 is to 2. So, 3x and 2x. And we add 5x. And we add 5x under. Only and two hundred twenty three coins are angle, which are twenty three minus five x are given five rupee coins. Then add is a answer like we so value. 
Tranak, 3x, 1 rupee coins, 2x, 2 rupee coins, 23 minus 5x, 5 rupee coins. Okay. I want to multiply uh, 3x into 1 plus 2x into 2 plus 23 minus 5x into 5 is equal to 43. Then solve your uh, answer like that. Then I can do it another. One number of points of rupee 1. Three x plus four x plus one fifteen minus twenty five x is equal to forty three. Seven minus twenty five minus eighteen x is equal to forty three minus one fifteen. Now minus seventy two. X is equal to seventy two divided by eighteen. So minus on the minus minus plus on the can stay the equal to four. So one rupee coins at the non all other. There are three x one rupee coins that implies three into four equal to twelve. Did I love them? Yes, sir. Then, next question. From the computer, we will put it over there. We will end on the answer computer. Good answer. So then a question. A rupees two twenty four. I'm gonna divide it three Five rupee coins, two rupee coins, and one rupee coin in the ratio three is to four is to five. So that means. 3x 5 rupee coins, 4x 2 rupee coins, 5x 1 rupee coins. Okay. So in the value of the into 5 plus into 2 plus into 1 equal to 224. That implies 15x plus 8x plus 5x equal to 224. 28x is equal to 224. Therefore, x is equal to 224 divided by 28 equal to 8. So, number of find number of 1 rupee coins will be 5x. 5 into 8 equal to 40. So, from the last day discuss the factor multiplying ratio which tolla or question. So, very important question. An employer reduces the number of employees in the ratio 19 is to 16. No, reduces decreasing trend and increase their wages in the ratio 4 is to 5. What is the ratio of wages paid by employer initially and now? Initially and now. Okay. So now wages paid by employer. Number of employees and wage per employee wages paid by employee. Employer is equal to number of employees into wage per employee. Total wage total wage paid by paid by employer. Initially now. Initially, their 
let number of employees initially number of employees x undanu kayirikka number of employees ne endanu sambhavichirikkana increase aano decrease aano number of employees initially x aanu kayirikka ipo endu sambhavichu decreases in the ratio equal 19 is to 16 so now that means new number of employees etra irikku nammada formula anusarichittu old number of employees into b by a 16 divided by 19 equal to 16 x divided by 19 okay le 16 x divided by 19 when a quantity increases or decreases in the ratio a is to b then the new quantity will be old quantity into b divided by a that b divided by a is called factor multiplying a ratio then let wage per employee wage per employee y ait edukka ഇവിടെ വേജ് ശരിക്കും ഇവിടെ ആക്ച്വലി എന്താണ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് എംപ്ലോയിസിനെ കുറിച്ചിട്ട് വേജ് പെർ എംപ്ലോയി എംപ്ലോയിസിന് വേജ് കൂട്ടി കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുകയാണ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇവിടെ എന്താണ് ഡിക്രീസ് ആണോ ഇൻക്രീസ് ആണോ വേജ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഇൻ ദ റേഷ്യോ ഫോർ ഈസ് ടു ഫൈവ് അല്ലെ സോ ന്യൂ വേജ് പെർ എംപ്ലോയി എത്ര ആയിരിക്കും ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് നൗ വേജ് പെർ എംപ്ലോയി എത്ര ആയിരിക്കും വൈ ഇൻ ടു ഫൈവ് ബൈ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് 5y divided by 4 le so initially total wage etra irikum total wage initial total wages paid by employer etra na le number of employees into wage per employee wage per employee le then so now etra irikum wage uh, total wages നമുക്കറിയാം സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ എക്സ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഇൻറ്റു ഫൈവ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ ഫോർ അല്ലെ സോ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് എംപ്ലോയീസ് എന്താണ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ എക്സ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഇൻറ്റു ഫൈവ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ ഫോർ സോ മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ എത്ര കിട്ടും ഫോർ ആണ് ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു ഫോർ എക്സ് ഇൻറ്റു ഫൈവ് വൈ ട്വൻറ്റി എക്സ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഓക്കെ So that means, എന്ത് ഇവിടെ നോക്കി അറിയാം എക്സ് വൈ ആയിരുന്നത് എന്ത് സംഭവിച്ചു ട്വന്റി എക്സ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ ആയിട്ട് മാറി സോ ഇവിടെ ഒന്ന് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് എക്സ് വൈ ആയിരുന്ന എന്ത് സംഭവിച്ചു എക്സ് വൈ ഇൻ ടു ട്വന്റി ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ സോ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് നമുക്കറിയാം പിന്നെ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഓർ ഡിക്രീസസ് ഇൻ ദ റേഷ്യോ ഡാഷ് സോ ന്യൂ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി വിൽ ബി ഓൾഡ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ബി ബൈ എ ആണ് എന്ത് B by A ആണ് സോ എ ഈസ് ടു ബി ആണ് ഇൻക്രീസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഡിക്രീസ് വരേണ്ടത് സോ ബി ബൈ എ ആണ് എത്രയാണ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ട്വന്റി ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ സോ എ എത്രയാണ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ബി ട്വന്റി ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഇനീഷ്യലി എക്സ് വൈ ആയിരുന്നു ഇപ്പൊ എന്തായി ട്വന്റി എക്സ് വൈ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് പേജസ് ആർ ഇൻ ദ റേഷ്യോ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഈസ് ടു ട്വന്റി ക്ലിയർ ആണോ ചോദിക്കണേ <laughs> initially is to now ratio so we have for increase because 19 is to 20 increase in trend ana kanikkunathu initially 19 ayirunnu wage in total wage angle equal 20 ana total wage paid by employer clear ana da yes let's make clear now yes sir adira yes sir aisha welcome on board 
chatting respond to see clear leather question so the factor multiplying ratio you don't know the question material question important question at those like what Yes. Then, right answer all right. Duplicate ratio of three is to four. So given ratio a is to b, angle duplicate ratio will be a square is to b square. So now we duplicate ratio in the room. Three is to four in a duplicate ratio. Three square nine is to sixteen. Three square is to four square. Okay. Yes, sir. Then next one. Subduplicate ratio of twenty-five is to thirty-six. Subduplicate. So A is to B is the given ratio. Then subduplicate ratio. And then subduplicate ratio will be root A is to root B. So root five twenty-five. Is to root thirty six. Now we try to five is to six. Five is to six. Okay. Then next question. Find the triplicate ratio of two is to three. So a is to b on a given ratio angle. Triplicate ratio and then triplicate ratio will be a cube is to b cube. So two is to three on angle. Two cube is to Three cube, two cube is equal to eight. Three cube, twenty-seven. Eight is to twenty-seven. Kelly. Okay, so it's okay. Then next one. Subtriplicate. So eight is to twenty-seven. Then subtriplicate. So a is to b. I am given ratio angle. Subtriplicate. Subduplicate ratio now in that one. Cube root of a is to cube root of b. So cube root of eight is to cube root of twenty-seven. Right on. Two is to three. Then next question. P is to Q is the subduplicate ratio of P minus x square is to Q minus x square. Then find the value of x square. P is to Q. P is to Q is the subduplicate ratio of P minus x square is to Q minus x square. Find the value of x square. Okay, brother, now study it. P is to Q is the subduplicate ratio of So now, okay, the the language you see, I am not going to do it. The root a is to root b is the subduplicate of a is to b. Right. So root a is to root b is the subduplicate ratio of. So I am not going to do it. P is to q is the subduplicate of. P minus x square is to Q minus x square. Okay, so now we are under that. Now, can the a root a is to root b? No, a is to b. No, we are under ratios under. So, if we are equating, that means equal to the one angle. Now, we are doing that. Now, this is the one root a divided by root b. This is a b a divided. So, if we square a, that, now we can do it. Root root a square and do it. A and do it. B. So, a divided by b equal to a divided by b. Now, that means First ratio in a like root a is root b is the subduplicate of a is to b. Then I will write p is to q is the subduplicate of p minus x square is to q minus x square. Okay, so p is to q is the subduplicate of p minus x square is to q minus x square. That means now we can write this in the first Ratio of square is equal to the number of equations in the term p minus x square divided by q minus x square. Now the equations in the term clearly our step.
So we have root a is to root b is the duplicate ratio of a is to b. That means first ratio is square a dal. Second ratio is equate to j. So root a, a is to root b means root a divided by root b the whole square. So root a square root a is equal to root square root a. Square 1 by 2 get cancelled. A is equal to root a. Root a is equal to root a is equal to root b is equal to b. So a by b is equal to a by b. That is equal to root a is equal to root a is equal to root a. Sub duplicate of p minus x square is to q minus x. So that means first ratio in a square is that you know equate to say yeah, clear layer yeah, point. Yeah, sir. Okay. So that means no, can you understand? P divided by q, the whole square is equal to p minus x square divided by q minus x square. So that implies p square divided by q square is equal to P minus x square divided by Q minus x square. Okay, cross multiply see ya. P square into Q minus x square is equal to Q square into P minus x square. Q square into P minus x square. So take multiply me doori na kya? P square Q minus P square x square is equal to Q square P minus Q square x square. So now we can't do it again. The x square. Anna. So x square times ne ke LHS sil kundon ne ke remaining times ne ke RHS sil kundon. Okay. Minus P square x square. So minus Q square x square LHS sil karma plus Q square x square. So RHS sil already endon ne Q square P endon ne. E P square Q ne RHS sil kundon ne minus P square Q. Okay. So ina just on the here and here. Q square x square minus p square x square so first positive term eduthu nu mathrallu onna rearrange cheyidhi equal to q square p minus p square q so ibada namaku endu cheyam x square common eduthal q square minus p square is equal to ee rendu term le endu common edukka q square p ilum p square q ilum pq 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 common eduthal endu varum q minus p nu varum le p q common eduthal q minus p उटर A plus B into A minus B. अगर ना अंगल Q square minus P square can be written as Q plus P into Q minus P. Okay. So बड़ा तो substitute में दूरी P Q into Q minus P divided by Q plus P into Q minus P. So नो के दूर है Q minus P Q minus P get cancelled. So a term simplest form है ना P Q divided by Q plus P, P Q divided by Q plus P. अब ना तो वो एक फॉर्मूला है ना यूज़ ये दिखेगा ना तो बेसिक फॉर्मूला है ना Q square minus P square can be written as Q square minus P square can be written as Q plus P into Q minus P. ये वो एक पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला है ना यूज़ ये दिखेगा ना तो देख देखो लाने में कुछ ना ना 2s is to 3t is the duplicate ratio of 2s is to 3t is the duplicate ratio of 2s minus p is to 3t minus p. Okay. So you would understand sub duplicate and duplicate of. Now we are going a square is to b square is the duplicate of a is to b. So in equality, we are going to understand the first ratio is a square is to b square. Second ratio is A is to B. Okay. So either A square by B square, either A by B. In a equation, I am going to say that second ratio is square. Either now, can do it. A square divided by B square. I am going to equate it. So, if we are going to say that 2s is to 3t is the duplicate ratio of that 2s minus p is to 3t minus p. So, बड़े a द रेशियो है ना स्क्वायर इधर आने के लिए हमने 2s इस तू 3t आनो 2s माइनस p इस तू 3t माइनस p स्क्वायर इधर आने के लिए हम बताएँगे। Okay, so that means नमक है ना रे आंसर लेकर आ। 
2s divided by 3t is equal to 2s minus p the whole square divided by 3t minus p the whole square. Now, a minus b the whole square, a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay. So our property along the formula apply 2s divided by 3t is equal to 2s square, 4s square, 2 into 2s uh, minus 2 into 2s into p, 4sp plus p square divided by in the square of the 9t square minus 6tp plus p square. Okay. Then cross multiply the same thing. 2s into 9t square minus 6tp plus p square is equal to 3t into 4s square minus 4sp plus p square. So 2s on the take multiply 2 into 9, 18. 18st square minus 12stp, 2s into 6 minus 6tp, 12stp plus 2sp square is equal to 3t into 4 square, 3 into 4, 12, 12t square minus 3 into 4, 12, then stp plus 3p square. 3 t p square. Then now we run the side loom or minus 12 stp on the so the other thing is like on the sign change and that means something that they can say. Now we can choose like no come take on the smoke on p along p square in the t and the read the number of p terms in a kelech is still not the condor remaining terms in a rx is like one p terms in a lx is not the condor remaining terms in the number 2sp square but on one angle plus 3tp square rx is like one minus 3tp square is equal to 12st square minus plus rx is like one minus 18st square so here LHSL is the common term. P square common at the room. 2s minus 3t. That's why RHSL is common at the end of the room. 6st. 6st common at the end of the 2s minus 3t. No. P square into 2s minus 3t equal to 6st into 2s minus that implies p square is equal to 6st into 2s minus 3t divided by 2s minus 3t. So 2s minus 3t get cancelled. Now can the answer p square equal to 6st. Okay. P square is equal to 6st will be the answer. So here on the question, remote and question, last standard books in the question. So that implies P square equal to 6st. P square is equal to 6st. Not here. Very important questions. So, we are going to question. A minus B the whole square. Then, on the rear end, common Just mathematical steps. Get the answer. Yes. Clear on the last question. Last one. Yes, sir. Okay. Next question. The ratio compounded of two is to three. Compounded of two is to three, comma nine is to four, comma five is to six, and eight is to ten. Okay. So compounded ratio means in the ratio or a product of antecedents is to product of consequence. So product in the room, antecedents in the canon 2958. Okay. So 2 into 9 into 5 into 8 divided by 3 into 4 into 6 into 10. 3 into 4 into 6 into 10. Try to answer. 
So two five 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 get cancelled. Then three two six divided by six one by one and only one is two one. One is to one. All terms are cancelled. So one by one, all of one is to one. That means so compounded ratio means product of antecedents is to product of consequence. Product of antecedents is to product of consequence. Good answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then next question. The ratio compounded of. So what is the question? This is the question. Question number one. Which ratio compounded of? Compounded of four is to nine. Then duplicate of three is to four. Okay. So ratio compounded of four is to nine and three is to four. Eleven. That is four is to nine and duplicate of three is to four. Remember, duplicate ratio of three is to four. Remember, right? Duplicate ratio. Duplicate ratio of three is to four. Nine is to sixteen. Right? Three square is to four square. So then, within the compound ratio, product of antecedents, four into nine divided by product of consequence, nine into sixteen. Nine nine get cancelled. Four divided by sixteen, one by four. Alangle na kaya dora. One is to four. One is to four. Okay, let her. Okay. So that will be next question. Then you answer it for you. The ratio compounded of four is to nine, comma duplicate of three is to four, comma triplicate of two is to three, and nine is to seven. Compounded of four is to nine. Then duplicate of three is to four. Triplicate. Triplicate of two is to three. And nine is to seven. So three is to four. The duplicate ratio will be nine is to sixteen. Duplicate two cube eight, three cube twenty-seven. Then compound ratio will be product of antecedents. So this is the product divided by this is the product. Product of consequence. Product of antecedents: four into nine into eight into nine divided by nine into sixteen into twenty-seven into seven. Nine nine will cancel. Then four. Nine three two two divided by twenty one. That implies two is to twenty one. Two is to twenty one. Did you learn them? So the decimal or line answer all are going to be okay. Then the ratio is going to be okay. Then okay. Then okay. ूटिया 
the ratio compounded of compounded of duplicate duplicate of 4 is to 5 then triplicate of 1 is to 2 sub duplicate of 81 is to 256 then sub triplicate sub triplicate of 125 is to 5 dot 125 is to 5 dot so duplicate means square here 4 square 16 5 square 25 triplicate means cube 1 cube 1 2 cube 8 sub triplicate means 81 the cube root uh, now okay. sub duplicate 81 the square root 9 get then 16 into 16 are 256 so 256 in the root are 16 get them sub triplicate okay. so 5 into 5 into 5 are 125 8 into 8 64 into 8 and 5 12 therefore 8 then product of antecedents is to product of consequence will be the ratio 16 into 1 into 9 into 5 divided by 25 into 8 into 16 into 8 16 cancel Get the answer. Nine is to three twenty. Nine divided by three twenty or nine is to three twenty. Now I choice in the answer Okay, the answer is none of this. Okay. Next question. Find the compounded ratio of find the compounded ratio of compounded two seventy five is to thirty one then inverse of 729 is to 31313 then duplicate of 2 is to 5 triplicate of 9 is to 11 then sub duplicate of 961 is to 121, 1296. Then sub triplicate, sub triplicate of 729 is to 133. So inverse now, Korea 1331 is to 729. Duplicate 4 is to 25. Triplicate 9 into 9 into 9, 729 is to 1331. 11 into 11 into triplicate. Then sub duplicate 961 in the root of 31. Then uh, 1296 uh, in the root of 1296 in the root of 36. Then now we have already done the triplicate and the triplicate. 729. So in the cube root. 9 varum is the cube root 11 varum. So now the next day, Ladang Elum scientific allathory calculator must under because now the cube root of the direct element, fourth root element, seventh root of a calculator like any other computer chain on a shortcut number discussing calculator tricks. Here chapter and number discuss another. Okay. So in either day, product of antecedents is to product of consequence will be the compounded ratio. 
one three three one into four three two seventy five into one three three one into four into seven twenty nine into thirty one into nine divided by thirty one into seven twenty nine into twenty five into one three three one into thirty six into eleven. So the terms again slow fine lands over it. Seven twenty nine, seven twenty nine it cancelled. One three three one it cancelled. Thirty one thirty one it cancelled. Nine four. So twenty five and eleven one two seventy five one. So in that one. Two seventy five divided by two seventy five equal to one is to one. Answer one is to one. No, so in other, when we are doing complete carrying, we inverse the duplicate, sub duplicate, duplicate, sub duplicate, and compound ratio. No, or if you complete or a question, you are doing so. Mark it as an important question. It is one is to one. Answer one is to one. इनवेटीन So inverse of what? Five is to seven is to five. Are you? And the consequent five are again antecedent and are you? Antecedent will be equal to seven. Antecedent will be equal to seven. Antecedent will be equal to seven. Clear, Leda? Then, next question. A by B equal to two by three. B by C equal to four by five. Nagel A is to B. Two is to three. B is to C equal to four is to five. Mag continuous ratio A is to B is to C. That can do it. A is to B is to C. Okay, but only slightly. Can I put a shortcut? Let me try to answer like what? I mean, only. So A is to B. I mean, only two is to three. Then B is to C. I mean, only. In that way, I mean, four is to five. Okay. So the A is to B. Then B is to A. Then the corresponding at like E three is to E four. Is that then? So now we are under that. Missing time. No, e e row is missing time. And the total time is three. That is called the replace. E row is four. Missing time is four. Total time is three. That is called the replace. Then corresponding terms multiply. Four into two. Two into four. Eight is two. Three into four. Twelve is two. Three into five. Fifteen. And so on. So now I have to attend the rewrite here. Then missing figure. Total time is what time? That means I have to replace here. Then corresponding terms multiply that answer. Then I am continuous ratio. Okay, for example, in a filler simple method, I am going to so two is to three. So is to be I am B under the four one no C. Okay, we are missing time. So it total time is time three. I am going to replace here. Then missing time under total time four. Four ana then corresponding time two into four eight three into four twelve three into five fifteen. Clear. Yes. So total the question there was a question A under A B C D with me. Snoka Noka A is to B. Then under two is to three. 
B is to C the matunda, four is to five, C is to D the matunda, three is to seven. Now can then do you know? A is to B is to C is to D. So no can air the other two is to three. Corresponding at a B under four C would then C is to D C under three seven. So, we have to do this. 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 So, 3 on replace here. We have to missing. So, we have to do this. 4 on replace here. We have to do this. 5. So, we have to do this. 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 We have to Continuous ratio. Corresponding terms are multiply. Two into four, eight into three. Twenty-four is to three into four, twelve into three, thirty-six is to three into five into three. Forty-five is to three into five. Fifteen into seven. One not five. So now we have to simplify the form. So in a 24, 36, 40. That means complete number 3 on the divisible plana. 3 on divisible plana. So 24 divided by 3, 8. 36 divided by 3, 12. Then 45 divided by 3, 15. 105 divided by 3, 35. 8 is to 12 is to 15 is to 35. 8 is to 12 is to 15 is to 35. Clear up a continuous ratio. I'm going to put you in the method. On the rewrite, I'll just multiply the answer. Clearly, method. Yes, sir. Clearly, then next question. It is not like one. If A is to B equal to 3 is to 5, B is to C equal to 5 is to 4, and C is to D equal to 2 is to 3, and D is 50 percentage more than E, find the ratio between A and E. So, first now, A is to B, 3 is to 5, then 2 is to 7. Five is to four, C is to D, two is to three. Okay. So now kill the end A is to B is to C is to D and put it. Like, A is to B is to C is to D, three is to five, five is to four, two is to three. Okay. So would I run the terms? Two would I have five? Would I have four? Would I run the term five? So multiply method 2, 15 into 2, 30 is to 50 is to 40 is to 60. So turn on the divide in the item A is to B is to C is to D, 3 is to 5 is to 4 is to 6. Okay. And D is. 50 percentage more than E. <coughs> 50 percentage more than E. Okay. So now we have to this atom simplest form. D and the other. Okay. Now we have 3x, 5x, 4x, and D 6x. D and the other 6x. Okay. So that means original term 6x. Ratio is 6. D is 50 percentage more than E. D is 50 percentage more than E. So that means the equation of D and E is E plus E into 50 percentage. D is 50 percentage more than E. D is 50 percentage more than E. Okay. D is 60 percentage, sorry, 50 percentage more than E. E is 50 percentage So that means the E is 1 rarity and the D. D is 6x. It is 1.5e. 1.5e. 
therefore e and the term e is equal to 6x divided by 1.5 now that's another 4x now the question and that's what you can know ratio between a and e a a is how much 3x a equal to 3x e equal to 4x therefore ratio and the term a equal to 3x e equal to 4x so a is to e and the term 3x is to 4x xx can be cancelled 3 is to 4 So the answer will be another. D is 50 percentage more than E. That means E at three ano. That means good. That means pagdi good idea. That is one hundred eighty. That is one point five E. So that is clear. Am I right? So remaining question. Okay. Next session discuss. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.